Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive, and we've been talking about game making and all the struggles that come along with it. And one of the big struggles is how to make sure your game doesn't suck. For people who have made a ton of games, they have this experience of what their audience is gonna like. Triple A industries, they can just throw an army of playtesters at anything they do, and also they refuse to try anything new. But as an indie developer, we have to make a game that's novel, that's unique, that kind of sticks out as something different. So how do you make sure your game doesn't suck when you don't have any of those things? That's my burning question, because I don't have any of those things. And so you're wondering, how do I have solutions for you? Well, here's what I've done. There's a guy, Mark Brown, he does GMTK, the shirt I'm sporting right now. GMTK, Game Maker's Toolkit, it's a series of video essays, and essentially he tears apart other games, talked about what worked, what doesn't, and he does it in a very, a very scientific way, like a way that actually leaves you with actionable truths. He like actually pulls truths about game design from these videos. So when you watch these video essays, you're left with these universal truths about what makes games good, what makes games not good, or, or new places to possibly explore. What if I went through all his videos again? So I did. I went through all his videos again. I've done it multiple times now. And I wrote down questions based off these truths, right? I started writing down the truths and I realized that really there's a series of 25 questions I can ask myself that we can ask ourselves through game development. And these questions are not all inclusive. They aren't everything about game development, but they're things that'll help you be thinking about things in the right way, help you step outside of your own head and look at your game objectively. And I'll link all the videos below underneath the questions and I'll link all the questions below too. So you'll be able to kind of watch the videos that inspired these questions of mine. Do new players immediately get the point of your game? Does your game have a central mascot people can rally around? Does your game have a suitable rhythm of excitement and downtime? Are you as the designer encouraging players to play towards the core experience you want them to have? Are you telling the story through gameplay mechanics and staging, or are you just telling the story by cutscenes and exposition? Do your interacting systems create an exciting possibilities place, or do they create a confusing one? Does your health system encourage your intended play style? Does your world feel empty? This is a great one. How can your game get rid of nav points? Is there a way you can show your players where to go and what to do without having a little dot on the screen that says, go here and do this thing? Are there interactions in your game that could be combined by a single mechanic? Is your repetition and backtracking meaningful? Do your game verbs match your control scheme? Do you modulate your difficulty naturally? When your game has a puzzle, can you lead them to the solution in a way that they say, oh, I understand now. Oh, I understand instead of, oh, I figured it out. Does your game offer any play depth or mastery? Do all of your mechanics support your core experience? Do your puzzles offer clear feedback? Does your gimmick shine through? Does the most basic interaction of your game feel good, right? People call this game juice. Does your game got juice? Does your use of randomly generated numbers leave the player feeling cheated. If you're exploiting nostalgia, right? If you're looking to another game to inform how your game's gonna work, as you're bringing in these older games to inspire you, are you making the same mistakes they did? Are you striking a balance between random and authored content? And this last one, does your game save too often and is it too easy to save? So these are roughly 25 questions that I put together, like I said, because I don't have all the answers. I'm looking to experienced people to help give me the answers. I did make the questions, but I didn't make the truth. I didn't find these truths behind the question. That's all Mark Brown. So if you're looking for more stuff like that, please check out his stuff. He's way cooler, way awesomer than I ever will be. So thank you so much for watching. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. Comment below and let me know what one of these questions really helped you think.